Hi guys. So, I, before I start recording, I want to re apologize for the air conditioner because it is running and it kicks on and off. So, you might hear it in the background, so I'll try to talk a little bit louder just so you can hear me. Um, anyways, and you might hear the bell from the cat. She's running around in here. She might come and say hi. I don't know. Um, anyways, so this video is going to be um, a medical update, um, health update, prognosis update of my, what's been going on with my health conditions and stuff like that. Um, because I know a lot of you were concerned today because I posted that I was having heart issues and I wanted to touch base with you guys on that so you guys weren't so worried. Um, I've been trying to do one video a day. There's been a couple nights where I haven't been able to get a video up because I've just been so busy and by the time I got home I was just exhausted and passed out. So I try to get a video up for you every day but if I can't, I hope you guys understand. I know you do but there's certain people that just are like, Mer! but it's okay. It's okay. So um, as far as my health updates, um, I got my, um, I talked to my rheumatologist because I called him and asked him to please call me um, when he got my results just so I know what's going on and I know what my readings were just so I didn't worry so much and he called me um, last week I think it was I think it was last week he called me and told me that I do not have lupus there were a couple little markers that said yes but there was not enough markers to even say that I have lupus. Now, mind you, there are types of people who have some markers and still show symptoms. So I do have some of the symptoms of the lupus, but I am not active and I'm not even considered borderline because it's so low. Um, as far as the rheumatoid arthritis, I have border, I'm bo right on the borderline of having it and not having it. Um, so, um, I do have quite a few markers and I do have quite a few symptoms but he said that it's just something we're gonna have to watch for now and go from there um, basically it was not as high as the other doctor had told me um, so they're considering it just basically on the borderline of having rheumatoid but I don't fully have it um, the cat's pouncing um, I have, I, I don't know if I told you guys, but I went to the doctor a while ago. They did an x-ray on my hip and I have a calcified, cal calcifus tendonitis in my hip, which is a calcified tendon, which means I have calcium building up around my one tendon in my SI joint, which is what's been causing me pain. My back is okay as of right now. I still have the bone spur, but it's not near as bad as it was. But I do have um, the calcified tendon in my SI joint, which has been causing me pain, which is why I get the lower back pain and I get the pain in my legs. That is from the SI joint, um, calcifus tendonitis, I think is what it's called. Um, I had my thyroid checked and my thyroid's perfectly fine. My thyroid's not messed up anymore. I'm perfectly fine with my thyroid. Okay, so the big issue, my heart. Um, what is going on right now is I did the 24 hour Holter monitor as you guys had seen in a previous video and I did get my results back and it is showing signs of sinus rhythm, sinus arrhythmia and sinus tachycardia which is basically the sinus nodes in my brain um, and chest and there's um, I'm having tachycardia due to a sinus rhythm issue. Um, so basically my heart's not pumping the way it should. Um, my heart rate doesn't slow down. It stays, um, when it does drop, it drops lower than it should. It drops down to 50. They said that normal for an adult is 60 and it's, at, it drops to 50 and my highest heart rate is up to 181 to 186. Um, but it stays it stays high the entire time pretty much even when I'm resting and then it'll drop out of nowhere and when it drops is when I feel like complete nut or poo and when it's really really high I'm out of breath and I can't breathe and 
I, you'll probably notice through my latest videos, I do take a lot of deep breaths while I'm talking because I get out of breath really easy. Um, no, they do not have me on bed rest. Um, I'm, I'm okay as of right now. I go back to my family doctor next week. Um, and she's going to check and see how my medication is working because I am on the Cymbalta for my anxiety and my depression and a little bit for my fibromyalgia. My rheumatologist says that he thinks my basic main issue right now would be my fibromyalgia. Um, so that's probably causing a lot of my pain issues. So I'm on Neurontin. He told me I could take that, which is also known as gabapentin. You can take, I can take up to four doses a day. I'm on three doses a day um, as of right now. I can take up to four if I'm having a really hard day and I'm hurting really bad, I can take up to four. So, um, yeah. And then I had, was diagnosed with chronic, or um, migraine with aura which is I get migraines and I see um, lights and I see rings of um, black around lights and stuff like that. Hi, you want up here? Hold on. This is Elu. She's getting huge and she's purring. Okay. Um, so yeah, I have that, and then I was also um, diagnosed with olfactory hallucinations. Um, what those are is I I see and smell things that aren't there. <laughs> I know that sounds really weird, but it's due to whatever's causing whatever was going on with my migraines. I usually see it like a couple days before I have a migraine, which has actually happened this week where I had seen and smelled smoke and it wasn't there and then I started seeing like the auras and then yesterday I got a migraine so I'm starting to learn now like when I'm gonna get one by paying attention to the hallucinations and the um, auras so I'm getting there with learning about that but they do have me on Maxalt to take when I feel a migraine coming on I can take Maxalt and then I can like boost it with some Aleve or some Ibuprofen. Um, they told me Aleve is probably better since I do have joint pain so. So as of right now with my heart um, I go see a cardiologist in July. Um, if my doctor feels that I need to see them sooner she is going to try and boost up the appointment. Unfortunately, he's the only specialist that specializes in what I need him to specialize in. So it's going to take me a while to get in there. But she said if she feels that it's an emergency, she will call them and try to boost it up a little sooner. So, yeah. Um, but as of right now, um, when I start feeling like uh, my heart's giving me issues, I just... Um, lay down, rest, and take a break. So, I'm okay, don't worry. Um, if I felt like I needed to go to the ER, I would, but there's really nothing they can do for the ER because I have to see the specialist. I have to see a specialist to figure out why I'm having these issues. Because they've ruled out um, the pain, they've ruled out the migraines, and they've ruled out the birth control, so they don't know what's causing this. It started with blood pressure, and now it's gone just to my heart with the pumping and stuff, so we're going to try and figure that out. Don't worry, guys. I will be okay. I have made it through so much stuff. I will make it through this, too. Um, I don't think it's the same thing that Cookie has, but I could be wrong, but I don't have exactly the same symptoms that Cookie has. Um, so they don't have me on bed rest as of right now, but who knows if I get worse, they might. Um, Cookie's also been fighting with hers a lot longer than I have with mine, so you never know. You never know. Um, uh, yeah, so that's basically it with my health-wise. Um, I do go to the dentist again and not next week but the following week I have a dentist appointment to get um I think he said my left side fixed I think 
my left side. I can't remember. I think I have to have a left side fix next. <sighs> Sorry, had to breathe. Um, so yeah. That's basically it. That's basically it for the health updates. Um, I know a couple people said they actually like these videos where I just sit down and talk to you guys since I do a lot of vlogs and stuff like that, which I still have to get last week's vlog up. Whoops. But I've been kind of busy, so I haven't had time to edit the vlog because that's, that takes a little bit longer, but I will, um, I will get it up. Sorry, I'm petting the kitty. She's sitting here loving on me. She's a very attentionate cat. So anyways, yeah, that's the gist of what's going on. And I will guys, I will, keep, I will guys, I will keep you guys updated as I know more. And yeah, so I will talk to you lovelies later. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Toodles. Meow.